world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. Eh, eh. It's really more of a visual joke because it's not 10, it's 1 0. Welcome to Math Bites. Today we'll talk about binary numbers, also known as base 2. But what is base 2? This is. I stole it. I know what base 2 is. Second base. Yeah. No, no, not. Base 2 is some sort of a math language? Yes. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Daddy's smart. Base 2 is an alternate way of expressing numbers, which has many applications, including that the device upon which you are currently watching this video speaks at its very core a language in binary code. Ones and zeros, baby. It's true, the image you see is not really me, rather a base 2 representation of this so-called me. But before we can understand binary numbers, we should take a closer look at our own decimal number system, the good old familiar base 10. In base 10, we have 10 symbols at our disposal for representing numbers. As you know, in various combinations, the symbols can represent any number of objects we can think of, using something called place value, which gives us a lot more bang for the buck for a mere 10 little symbols, if you know what I mean. Each column of numbers represents multiplication times the power of 10. There's the ones place, 10 to the zero power, tens place, 10 to the one power, hundreds place, 10 to the two power, and so on. So when you see a number like 375 in base 10, you're really seeing this. Most of the world uses these symbols along with powers of 10 and has for a long, long time. It's a great system. I don't get it. Why do you use 10? What makes 10 so special? That's how many fingers we have. Oh, uh. Hmm. I don't get it. Do you know what they're talking about? Not a clue, nope. Hmm. Most of us have 10 fingers. Anyway, the point of all that was to give you a context for how binary works. In binary, instead of using 10 symbols and powers of 10, we use just two symbols and powers of two. And we can still express big numbers using just two symbols. Base two or binary works the same way as the decimal system. But this time, each column of numbers represents multiplication times the power of two. There's the ones place, two to the zero power, twos place, two to the one power, fours place, two to the two power, and so on. Of course, it's a lot harder to express big numbers this way. You need a lot more digits. So if it's that inefficient, why do computers use it? Well, it's how they store and relay information. Because the core of computers is just electronics after all. And for any given pathway on a circuit board, you gotta admit, either a current is flowing or it's not. Yes, no, on, off. Yes, no, yes. Yes, no, on, off, one, zero, binary. You're hot, then you're cold. Now, I know what you're thinking, but how do we do math with binary numbers? Boolean logic. And Boolean logic is used to design the components and computer processors. So, surf away, you've got Boolean logic to thank. You have reached your destination. Thank you, Boolean. <gasps> thank you, Boolean logic. Thank you, Boolean logic. It's David, and thank you. Time for the takeaway tip. The takeaway tip is just a little tidbit of mathy goodness to make you look smarter at cocktail parties. Yes, calculus. Yes. The square Ooh. root of brilliance double clink. <laughs> <laughs> Today's tip. Binary numbers are the language of all electronics, a bunch of ones and zeros. Oh, and by the way, now you totally understand this joke, right? Because what's one O in binary? Two. So there's two types of people. Get it? Just nod and smile. Thanks for joining us today on Math Bites. Hope you have a new perspective on binary and perhaps a deeper appreciation for our own fabulous base 10 decimal system. See you next time. Thanks for watching the binary episode of Math Bites. But I know what you really want to do is watch a two-year-old recite the quadratic formula, right? That's my son. <laughs> Hashtag brag. Or see how shiny Parks and Recreation's Jim O'Hare's teeth really are. I mean, right? Shiny. 
So click here for the Math Heads episode and click here to subscribe to Nerdist. And if you wanna learn math for my books, click here. Yay, so many clicks. <laughs>